Good morning. Today I'll talk about impulse response function. Impulse response function says how one variable reacts to a shock in another variable over the time. It tells the effect of one standard deviation shock to one of the innovations. It means it predicts the reaction of variable in future. Impulse response function is applied after running vector autoregression and VECM. It means vector error correction model. So now how to run or how to apply impulse response function in our studio. We need wars package. I have already installed wars package in our studio. After doing this, we are supposed to store the value of var. It means it means we have to store the value of this var in model 1 and after doing this we can run or apply impulse response function with the help of this command. Now I have data set of unemployment rate and inflation from 1950 to 2014. I'm going to apply impulse response function on this data set. So I have already discussed about this command. I hear the first step or I, I write here uh, library then wars package because wars package uh, is needed here. With the help of this command, wars can be stored in model 1. It means var data dot frame, unemployment rate and inflation because I have data set of unemployment rate and inflation type equal to constant, lag dot max equal to 2 and this information criteria equal to EIC. After that, when you enter you find the value which has been stored in model 1. Then in second phase or second step we can run this command. So what is command? Command is plot plot and we can say uh, this plot IRF IRF means impulse response function. Model 1, this model 1 means the value of var which has been stored in model 1. n dot ahead equal to 10. Here means we are going to see the reaction of shock for next 10 years. So simply with the help of this command we can check or we can apply this impulse response function then simply enter well let's see this is the graph presented with the help of this command so orthogonal impulse response from unemployment rate to unemployment rate itself and then from unemployment rate to inflation 0 1 2 this 10 is nothing but number of prediction years in terms of uh, the effect of this shock so if I talk about the first graph it says that response from unemployment rate to unemployment rate itself because of one unit of a standard deviation in shock from 0 to first year if you see it is a slight downward and then from 
two year to four years you find downward and from four year to this six year you find negative value and then again from six year onwards it increases and goes to positive side till 10 years so this is all about from unemployment rate to unemployment rate itself if i talk about because of one unit of SOC or because of one unit of standard deviation SOC, what will be the reaction in inflation with the help of unemployment rate? It means a response from unemployment rate to inflation. So from zero to this three years, you find the value is in negative. And after that, it increases and then again after five years if you see it slightly started decreasing to 10 years but still it is in positive from 3 to 10 years so that is all about impulse response function in our studio thank you